Hi, this is Laura Workala from Laura's Sewing School in Arlington, Massachusetts. What I'm doing today is showing this trick I learned a little while ago on how to remove serging stitches easily from your fabric. This is really great for taking apart things without having to cut every little stitch that's there. Now, this is where I started and I actually had sewn over the end. This is just a strip we had used to practice and to stretch, check the um, tension and everything like that. So it tails off here, okay? One thing I need to do first to be able to take it apart is to cut that away so that I can pull out the um, needle stitches. So when you have a serging, of course, I'm going to go from the side where you can see the two needle lines, the lines of needle thread. So we've got the left loop, or the left needle, the right needle, the upper looper, and the lower looper. You can tell the lower looper side, you don't see the lines of stitching as well. You see this kind of Y-shaped uh, stitch. Here you can see both lines of needle thread. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first take out, if you look at it here, this is the left needle and the right needle. I'm going to take out the right needle thread first. I'm going to go here and get underneath that thread. A little harder on knits than on wovens and pull. Now since I hadn't tied off this tail, it was very easy to pull that out. I took my seam ripper and turned it away so the blade wouldn't cut the thread. Now I'm going to pull on this thread and you can also use this technique without pulling it out to gather your fabric, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, surge the edge and gather the edge at the, you know, right after that. So this is going to take a little while because it's a long, <laughs> it's a long stretchy piece of fabric. But what I do is I'm pulling on it, it getting it to gather, then I just kind of slide it down there. That thread is out, okay? So now, I don't know if you can see this, but there is no longer a right needle thread in there. All right, now I'm gonna take out the left needle thread. Let me get that. Ah, thread sticks to everything. Sorry about that. Oh boy, it's not even winter. Okay, so here I'm going to, now here's the challenge when you have all the threads the same color. It, the, what looks like a stitch right here is actually the looper. The looper runs back and forth like ribbon candy, okay? So what I'm going to do is not go where it looks like a stitch here. I'm gonna go between what looks like a stitch to get the thread for the left needle position, okay? So here, once I get a loop going, I'm gonna put the seam ripper shaft in there to pull on that. This one is being more stubborn. Maybe I need to cut that tail. I think I will. There we go. Okay, much better. So now, okay, once you have gathers, just pull past the gathers. It, it's actually better not to push the gathers down, like, you know, like pushing a curtain. It's actually better to just pull on that, what's past it, and the gathers will transfer. Oh, got that out. All right. So now, it looks like the threads are all on there, but if you just pull, you'll find that the looper threads fall right off the edge. A lot of thread, too. This is evidence that you use a heck of a lot more thread on your loopers than you do on your needles. So anyway, so, oh boy, that is a lot of thread. So there it is. The pieces are separated from each other and you're ready to do whatever it is that you were going to do. Hope this helps.